Hi babes, what's good? What's poppin'? What are you doing? Today's video is gonna be a DIY flower um, background kind of aesthetic. So I have all of the supplies you're gonna need here. You have your hot glue gun and glue sticks. I have two bags of about $20 worth of flowers. And then I have a trifold poster board that we're just gonna pop up for a photo shoot we're gonna do. So I'm gonna show you how I incorporate this board and finish the drop. So if you wanna see how I accomplish or what this is gonna look like at the end, stay tuned for the entire video. all of our flowers <clears throat> and I did get these from the Dollar Tree everything's a dollar so there you have <sighs> so I did get roses for the most part so, here's what one of them look like. And these are the artificial flowers. You can buy them in a bundle like this for a dollar. So, I have white, pink, yellow, and purple. These are gonna be my colors for this board. And then I have this one. This is a uh, Paisley and Violet, I guess. And um, it kind of had all of them in one. So I really like that. So to start, we're just going to remove everything from the stem. So we're just gonna take the rose right off the stem just like that and then we're also going to pull up the leaves so I'm going to have a pile of leaves and a pile of roses or rose buds and then this we're going to throw it away And any petals that fall off of the rose, I'm still gonna use. So nothing's not gonna be used in this um, project besides the actual stem. Okay, so here I have all of my flower petals. So when the rose kinda comes apart, you have leaves and it just continues so we're still going to use those even though they're like that now with the regular flowers we are going to take some scissors any type of scissor and pop the rest of the stem off so that it is easier to glue onto the poster board now So it should look like this, pretty flat now. And you still have your complete bud. So here are all of our granaries. I did not take these apart yet. I have four bundles of those. My hot glue gun did come from the dollar store. You can find them there, and they do have packs of glue sticks. The glue sticks are pretty small, but you can get a pack of 30.
Because we're pulling some of the flowers apart, I'm also going to be adding rhinestones in the centers. Same technique using the hot glue gun. Hi babe, so I had to come to my local Dollar Tree and this is what I see. I can only find a few of these, so I'm gonna try to find a few more flowers so I can go and wrap up the project. But this is what shelves look okay, like. Okay, so I'm back home. Here's my second run of flowers. So this time I spent $8 and 78 cents. Um, yeah. So, I tried to stay with the same color scheme. So here are my pink, some purple, some more yellow. They did not have roses. So, this is what we have so far. We just wanna keep um gluing so i'm not going to separate all of these just yet but we're going to put a hold on the roses and start blending these into what we already have so i'm probably going to start with these pink ones and they're already like together like this so i don't think i'm going to take them apart even more because then so, I once we pull them apart, we are pulling them off of this as well. So we'll have individual flowers, whether I want to stack them or just lay them on there. And they just look like this. And we'll place them on there individually. And some of them will just add on top of each other and stack them. All right, babes, thank you so much for tuning in and watching the video for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoy everything and you actually try this out. If you do, please let me know down below in the comments. So this is the finished product right behind me. I have it propped up so you can see it. This is a trifold board, so you can move it around. It's very, you know, flexible, accessible. You can do many different things with it. You can tack it on your wall, move it around take some bomb selfies in front of it so i am going to be doing a photo shoot soon um and i'm going to show you guys how i take some bomb pictures on my phone but stay tuned for that video um i know it's friday so happy friday i am not doing shout outs this go round mainly because i didn't get any notifications for my new subscribers so thank you babe so much for subscribing to my channels to all my new subscribers i really appreciate it and a little disclaimer, I do not support sub for sub. I really get offended, not even offended. I really just dislike sub for sub. It's very dishonest and un discouraging. And it's just not something that I support as a person and you know, as a brand, I just don't. I do, however, encourage other people you know to support me and support one another i do feel like we all can grow together which i do push on my channel so if i know that you're a genuine supporter i see your comments i see that you subscribe you guys send me your screenshots so that's why i started doing the shout outs on my friday uploads however if you're dming me or commenting under my photos i don't consider that genuine because you're just asking me to subscribe to you 
so you know you can get your subscribe as well and i do check out you guys's pages when i do my shout outs i go screenshot your banner or whatever i post it in my video so i am supporting you back that way and it was my choice to do that so i just feel like you guys are taking a choice away from me if i really genuinely like your content i'm going to subscribe anyway so i just wanted to put that out there i do appreciate each and every one of you that are here and are supporting me thank you so much but sub for sub is not the way i want to gain my subscribers so i just wanted you guys to know that i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up comment down below what you guys want to see next and if you're not a babe already what are you doing sis go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below turn on your post notification bell so you're notified every time i post a video i do upload every monday wednesday and friday so stay tuned for more content guys and i'll see you in the next video